He was an explorer who sailed the Atlantic and Indian Oceans for Portugal. He is credited with discovering Ascension and St. Helena Islands. The Juan de Nova Island and Farquhar Atoll bear his name. His name is João de Nova. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was João de Nova, a Spanish Galician explorer who served under the flag of Portugal, embarking on daring expeditions that would reshape our understanding of the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. Born in the 15th century, little is known of João de Nova's early life, but it was his voyages of exploration that would etch his name in the annals of history. João de Nova's voyages took him to numerous destinations of great significance, including the islands of Ascension and St. Helena, which he is credited with discovering. His explorations also took him to the Indian Ocean, where he ventured to places such as Ceylon, Jerusalem, Kilwa, Mombasa, Zanzibar, Mozambique Island, and Socotra. He sailed through the Gulf of Oman, visiting ports such as Calhet, Karayat, Muscat, and Hormuz, establishing trade relationships and leaving a lasting impact on the region. One of the notable events in João de Nova's career was his participation in the Battle of Gio in 1509. This battle, fought between the Portuguese and a coalition of Indian and Arab forces, marked a turning point in the control of trade routes in the Indian Ocean, solidifying Portuguese dominance in the region. João de Nova's navigational skills and strategic contributions played a crucial role in the Portuguese victory, further enhancing his reputation as a formidable explorer. João de Nova's expeditions have had a profound impact on the world, opening up new trade routes and establishing Portuguese influence in the Indian Ocean. His discoveries and interactions with various cultures have enriched our understanding of the interconnectedness of the world. As we reflect upon the age of exploration, we are reminded of João de Nova's remarkable achievements and the legacy he left behind, a legacy that continues to inspire and ignite the spirit of discovery in all who dare to venture into the unknown. João de Nova embarked on a voyage to India as the commander of a small four-vessel fleet. On the way, he is believed to have sighted Ascension Island and discovered Juan de Nova Island in the Mozambique Channel. Upon reaching India, Nova established a trading post in Kananur and engaged in a naval battle with the fleet of the Zamorin of Calicut. He might have also visited Ceylon during this time. In January 1502, Nova's fleet set sail back to Portugal, and on the return journey, he discovered the South Atlantic island of St. Helena, possibly on May 21, which is now celebrated as the feast day of Helena of Constantinople. However, there is a debate about the exact discovery date and the reason behind the island's name. Some argue that it could have been discovered on May 3, the Catholic feast day celebrating the finding of the true cross by St. Helena in Jerusalem. It is suggested that Nova might have refrained from naming the island, Ilha de Vera Cruz, as it had already been assigned to the Brazilian coastline by Pedro Alvarez Cabral in 1500. Instead, the name, Santa Helena, was chosen. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.